In this video, I am going to discuss about the properties of inequality of real numbers. But before that, if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell for you to get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's start! First, we have the addition property of inequality. If A is greater than B, then adding C to both sides of the equation, that is A plus C, is still greater than B plus C. If A is lesser than B, then adding C to both sides of the equation, that is A plus C, is still lesser than B plus C. For example, if A equals 10, B equals 6, and C equals 7, we have 10 is greater than 6. Then, the statement 10 plus 7 is greater than 6 plus 7 is true. Since 10 plus 7 is 17 and 6 plus 7 is 13, and we know that 17 is greater than 13. Another example, if A equals 18, B equals 33, and C equals 7, we know that 18 is lesser than 33. If we add 7 to both sides of the inequality, we have 18 plus 7 is lesser than 33 plus 7 is true. Since 18 plus 7 is 25 and 33 plus 7 is 40 and 25 is lesser than 40. Next, the subtraction property of inequality. The subtraction property of inequality states that subtracting the same number to both sides of the inequality will not change the inequality relation. If A is greater than B, then subtracting C to both sides of the inequality, we have A minus C is still greater than B minus C. And if A is lesser than B, then A minus C is lesser than B minus C. For example, if A equals 16, B equals negative 25, and C equals 7, we know that 16 is greater than negative 25. And if we subtract 7 to both sides of the inequality, we have 16 minus 7 is greater than negative 25 minus 7. Since 16 minus 7 is 9, and negative 25 minus 7 is negative 32, and 9 is greater than negative 32. Another example, if A equals 9, B equals 18, and C equals 7, we know that 9 is lesser than 18. Then, if we subtract 7 to both sides of the inequality, we have 9 minus 7 is lesser than 18 minus 7 is true. Since 9 minus 7 is 2 and 18 minus 7 is 11, so 2 is lesser than 11.
Since 13 times negative 7 is negative 21, and 12 times negative 7 is negative 84, and negative 91 is lesser than negative 84. Another example. If A equals negative 5, B equals negative 2, and C equals negative 7, we know that negative 5 is lesser than negative 2. Then, if we multiply negative 7 to both sides, we have negative 5 times negative 7. Notice that the inequality has changed from lesser than to greater than. So we have negative 5 times negative 7 is greater than negative 2 times negative 7. Since negative 5 times negative 7 is 35 and negative 2 times negative 7 is 14 and 35 is greater than 14. We have the division property of inequality. The division property of inequality states that dividing both sides of the inequality with the same positive number will not change the inequality relation. So if A is greater than B, then dividing both sides with a positive number, we have A divided by C is still greater than B divided by C. If A is lesser than B, then A divided by C is lesser than B divided by C. For example, if A equals 21, B equals 14, and C equals 7, we know that 21 is greater than 14. Then, if we divide 7 to both sides of the inequality, that's 21 divided by 7, the inequality relation will still remain 2 greater than. So that's 21 divided by 7 is greater than 14 divided by 7. Since 21 divided by 7 is 3 and 14 divided by 7 is 2. And we know that 3 is greater than 2. Another example. If A equals negative 35, B equals negative 28 and C equals 7, negative 35 is lesser than negative 28. If we divide 7 to both sides of the inequality, we have negative 35 divided by 7 is still lesser than negative 28 divided by 7. Since negative 35 divided by 7 is negative 5, and negative 28 divided by 7 is negative 4. And we know that negative 5 is lesser than negative 4. Observe that the inequality relation does not change. Since the original equation that we have is negative 35 is lesser than negative 28. So the inequality symbol that we have here is lesser than. So we still have the inequality symbol that is lesser than. The division property of inequality also states that dividing both sides of the inequality with the same negative number will change the direction of the inequality. If A is greater than B, then A divided by C is lesser than B divided by C. And if A is lesser than B, then A over C is greater than B over C, where C is a negative number. For example, if A equals 21, B equals negative 14, and C equals negative 7, we have 21 is greater than negative 14. If we divide a negative integer to both sides of the inequality, we have 21 divided by negative 7 is lesser than 
negative 14 divided by negative 7. 21 divided by negative 7 is negative 3, and negative 14 divided by negative 7 is 2. So we have negative 3 is lesser than 2. So the inequality relation has changed. Another example, if A equals 77, B equals 98, and C equals negative 7, we know that 77 is lesser than 98. If we divide negative 7 to both sides of the inequality, we have 77 divided by negative 7 is greater than 98 divided by negative 7. Since 77 divided by negative 7 is negative 11, and 98 divided by negative 7 is negative 14. And negative 11 is greater than negative 14. So notice, from lesser than, it became greater than by just dividing a negative number to both sides of the inequality. We have the trichotomy property. The trichotomy property states that between two numbers A and B, one and only one of the following is true. First, the first number is less than the other, that is A is greater than B. Second, the two numbers are equal, that's A equals B. And the third, the first number is greater than the other. That's A is greater than B. For example, given A equals 17 and B equals 23, if 17 is lesser than 23, then we cannot say or we can say that 17 is not equal to 23 or 17 is not greater than 23. Another example, A equals 19 and B equals 19. If 19 equals 19, then we can say that 19 is not greater than 19 or 19 is not lesser than 19. Third example for trichotomy property. If A equals 13 and B equals 5, if 13 is greater than 5, then 13 is not equal to 5 or 13 is not lesser than 5. 